Well, more than 40 years since America entered the Vietnam War, veterans here in Texas are finally getting the support they deserved. Today, state leaders broke ground on a new Texas Capitol Vietnam Veterans Monument. But the groundbreaking today did not go without incident. A small group of protesters was also there. While they support the memorial, they're also upset over who's left out. It's long overdue. A moment and a monument, all to say thanks. We were not well received when we came back. Celebratory cannon fire now to replace gunfire from years past. By this fall, the 14-foot-tall statue will stand on these grounds in honor of the thousands who served during the Vietnam War and those that never made it home. We trust now that they rest in peace and your eternal dwelling place. Air Force veteran Steve Stevenson and his twin brother both served in the war. Both were wounded in action. So we paid our dues for the state of Texas. It means a great deal for us to have finally all of the Vietnam veterans. The problem is, it's not all of those who served, according to the group just feet away. Honor the original motto. Honor the original agreement. A handful of protesters, many of Vietnamese descent, are upset over changes to the monument. Earlier designs had references to South Vietnamese soldiers. We fight together. To Tin Trinh's father was a prisoner of war in the fight against communists. Now, she's fighting to help protect his legacy. The war was over, but the fight is not over yet, and we will uh, prevail this war. God bless America. God bless Texas. Simplify. <laughs> In total, 3,417 Texans died in the Vietnam War. Another 105 remain missing to this day. The monument will honor each of those men and women by name with specially printed dog tags.